Oh, it's time for another map. Easy. So we're going to discuss. Well, uh, I'm going to do part two of my area of a triangle proof uh, series. Basically, I was brought to my attention that because I, I forgot to include this in the previous video. I, is basically well, we all know the formula for a area of a of a triangle's area equals base times height divided by two. And but this time I'm going to do a proof for when the base is not the longest length of a triangle. So in this case, base will be here because uh, the the formula works for this kind of triangle and especially the ones which I showed in my earlier video basically I showed for a right angle triangle if you have something like this and this is base this is height and also for a triangle like this where the longest length is this one here is B and I showed that this is also the H here and the area for both is just equal to well base times height divided by 2 but now I'm going to show the proof for that if you have a case like this one here where it's not a right angle triangle like this and the, the base is not the biggest uh, side like in this case here. You can see the proof on, my, on the video link below on the info and to see the proof for these two. But basically I'm going to show that, that this as well, this the, if this is h, then this also is equal to b times h divided by 2. And uh, to show the proof for this one, well it's pretty simple here actually. Well it's just let's just uh, if we call this B and this call H all we gotta do it's similar to my proof for these just just draw a rectangle like it's around this triangle here and then so if we if we draw one down here this is height H we'll call this length A and now in this one right here we're just gonna enclose it with the rectangle here so if we enclose this one here and then we'll find the area compared to the uh, rectangle here. So now we'll call this, yeah, this length here is H. is also H. And this one here is just B plus A. This is the addition of both of these. So what we're going to do now is get the area of the rectangle subtracted by, well, these two areas. This should equal to this one. So we'll, we to get the area of this one, we just have to go area of, well, let's call this like something like this. Triangle is equal to area of the rectangle minus area of the top right angle minus area of the bottom uh, yeah the bottom right angle and this one here just equals to well the area of a rectangle is just both sides times divided by each other so this is going to be h yeah, h times this one's going to be b plus a and now we're going to subtract by this area here this is just a right angle triangle here and this is just going to be base times height divided by 2 as a proof for this one too. So we use the um, area for these right angle triangles. We know it's base times height divided by 2. So then this is just going to be, well in this case base is going to be H. This is going to be B plus A over 2. And then this one we're going to subtract from this right angle triangle. This one is going to be AH divided by 2. So A is the base, this is H divided by 2 here. So now we have something like this here. If we just simplify this one, well, we know this is just times the top and bottom by 2. So we have a common denominator amongst all of them here. If we just add these all up here, we're going to get 2H, yeah, B plus A minus H, B plus A minus AH over 2 in this case. And now this one here is just 2 times uh, of this one here. So this is going to be left with, well, this is just going to be H, B plus A minus a h over 2 here and then if we expand this one out you can see that they'll cancel this is going to be h b plus a h minus a h divided by 2 and then these two just cancel and we're left with h b over 2 and this is the area so then as you can see it works for all of them here so it doesn't matter what the triangle is in this case it's just as long as you just have the base here the heights here even if this is not yeah n not like this or or right angle triangle that the base is not the longest length it still works because because uh, remember you could always flip this around and if you if you consider this is as considering h and this is b this is called as prime and then there uh, you could also be the area is the same as well you could, this also equals to well a is equal to it's called a prime it's both uh, equal the same thing b prime times h prime over 2. So it doesn't matter how you do it, you're going to get the same area. These are both equal. Well, uh, that's all for today. Yeah, so it was, thanks to the, the guy who gave me my attention on a YouTube comment on the previous video. But 
yeah, that's all for today. You can never get download these notes in the Dropbox link below and um, stay tuned for another Matt Easy Solution.